We are in Voskresensk. Behind me is the Aerolet 01. This is our very latest flagship development at Aeronova, a truly innovative project. We are here to carefully pump a bit of pressure into it and then see exactly how it feels from the inside. Now we're smoothly and efficiently moving on to uh, assembling our robust metal structures, which prominently includes the crucial tail assembly. We're also moving on to the gondola. We need to figure out why we're building it in the first place, what its technical specifications are, and what tasks it is meant to accomplish. We'll talk with the chief designer, Dmitry Sergeyevich Kamel. He's here with us today as well, and we'll show a little bit of how everything is currently going, what kind of important work is being done. And we'll spend some time at the site. Right now we have a task at hand. First, we are thoroughly testing the envelope. Second, we are carefully assembling its actual structure, primarily because it inherently includes numerous mounting elements. Indeed, there are quite a lot of them. Essentially, it is a semi-rigid airship. After that, we'll actually begin flight testing. Why are we doing all of this? It's so that we can thoroughly test all of this in flight to, to fully understand its intricate characteristics, clearly see its numerous advantages, and actually try out precisely how it truly flies. That's essentially the primary goal, because there are quite a significant number of hybrid airship projects currently underway in the world. Hybrid in the sense that they reliably carry some kind of substantial load and effectively use aerodynamics for their operation. But these are either very large, massive projects that don't have any demonstrators. They just claim that such airships can be built, or they spend huge amounts of money on building them, and then nothing actually flies, or if it does, it doesn't fly well. There are also some smaller craft. Usually they fly very poorly because they are designed specifically for horizontal takeoff from a runway. This ultimately leads to them being quite susceptible to strong winds and environmental factors. That's precisely why what we are carefully incorporating into this advanced craft now is a well-considered and reasonable compromise between the classic airship shape and its inherent aerodynamic characteristics. This also includes the integration of innovative new power plants and sophisticated control systems that will collectively allow it to accomplish all this while consistently maintaining exceptionally stable flight. So, uh, friends, to sum up, what do we have in the end? We proudly present a new advanced airship model with significantly improved aerodynamic characteristics. Thanks to its truly unique and innovative shape, this remarkable craft is exceptionally able to take on additional substantial load due to its superior aerodynamics. This impressive craft boasts precise specifications of 18 meters in overall length and 4 meters at its midsection, which is indeed the widest part of the envelope. The craft will be reliably able to lift about 50 kilograms of payload. Its total volume is 190 cubic meters, of which 150 is the gas volume, specifically for the lifting gas. We have thoroughly tested the envelope, checked its gas retention properties, and inspected the seams for quality workmanship. Right now, the team is currently finishing the assembly of the tail section of the airship, since it precisely consists of two distinct parts. In the coming days, we will move on to the second part of the airship's assembly. This includes both the crucial tail assembly and the main nacelle itself. After that, the sophisticated computer system, all the necessary electronics and essential equipment will then be carefully installed on it. And the third stage will be, uh, or rather, not testing but assembly. We will then move on to comprehensive ground tests. We will thoroughly check the entire system for its full operability, meticulously test the main engines and also the thrusters. And gradually, we will then proceed to the very first flight tests. So stay with us. It's going to be interesting.